Zain from the UK. Welcome to Ask with Zain. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Zain, go ahead. Brother, I have two questions and I'll make it brief. So the first one is my son now, he's seven years old and we should encourage them to pray. When he's not with me um, and he goes with my sisters and my wife and it's all women, how, where does he stand when they pray? Because obviously the men should be in the front and the women should be in behind. Um, I don't know how to, uh, what to advise my wife when um, I'm not there. You mean Zain? In terms you, of the prayer. You mean when they go to the masjid, when they pray in Jama'ah? No, no, when we pray at home. At home. So who's going to be leading the prayer when you pray at home? Yeah, so this is when there's no males in the house and it's just the women and my son. Okay, good. It is not permissible for uh, a child who is aware of the prayer or capable to lead the prayer to pray behind an imam who's a woman. So he can pray on his own. He can pray separate. Or if you train him and he knows how to recite Al-Fatiha correctly and even قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ and قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ He's perfectly fit to lead them in the prayer. And as a matter of fact, that is very, very encouraging. And there was a child at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Salama, may Allah be pleased with him, he was seven years old. And he used to lead the prayer with these people because before them accepting Islam, he happened to memorize a few chapters of the Quran, provided he is making perfect wudu, uh, knows how to clean up himself before that at the bathroom, and he knows how to recite and the number of rak'ahs. So his prayer is valid for him. He can then lead the prayer uh, with other women. Barakallahu feek, akhi. Assalamu alaikum.